Let me be as direct as I know how to be to Oklahoma constituents. The state of Oklahoma did not get rid of the ability to fill 90-day prescriptions. Anyone that says that is not misinformed. They don't misunderstand. They are intentionally lying to you. And we're not going to stand for it. State lawmakers not holding back Monday, calling out CVS Caremark for allegedly spreading misinformation to Oklahomans. Put out misinformation and scare our senior citizens. We cannot have that anymore. In March, the pharmacy benefit manager sent out letters to customers about its plans to discontinue 90-day supplies of medications. This afternoon, one News 4 viewer showed us a note he received after his 90-day prescription was rejected. CVS's reasoning points to a 2019 law, the Patients' Rights of Pharmacy Choice Act, which prevents benefit managers from directing patients to use its affiliated pharmacies instead of other drugstores. Saying the Oklahoma Insurance Department recently determined that legislation enacted in 2019 is applicable to prescription benefits for certain multi-state or national employers headquartered outside of the state of Oklahoma. We have discussed with the OID our concerns about the impact changing uniform benefit design could have on customers who rely on 90-day prescriptions. But lawmakers argue that's not the case. There's no law against 90 days. There's no law against it. On Monday, Insurance Commissioner Glenn Mulready said representatives from CVS Caremark told him some customers can't get their 90-day prescriptions because of a, quote, technical and contractual issue with their employers that can't be fixed until next year. This is one of the largest companies in the world, hundreds of billions of dollar company. And you tell me you can't put resources towards that to get that fixed quickly for Oklahoma consumers. I find that disingenuous at best. Well, Oklahoma's insurance commissioner filed a complaint against CVS earlier this month. A hearing is scheduled for May, and it's possible that CVS could have their prescription license suspended or revoked completely, and we'll let you know how that goes.